Hey, what's up YouTube? We have decided we're gonna build a Japanese soaking tub to go inside the van. Um, so we, well, I went to uh, Home Depot and just picked up um, some, a couple pieces of uh, pine wood, um, tongue and groove. So I'm gonna start cutting this and, uh, and we're gonna make a Japanese soaking tub. Okay, so almost finished getting all the pieces cut. Um, we decided what we're gonna have is two of the sides are gonna be 21 inches, so it'll be 21 inches wide, um, which means that the seat's gonna be 22 inches basically deep um, because you gotta account for the um, basically three quarter inch plywood on both sides. Well, we're gluing. We went to Home Depot, we got some clamps. We didn't have clamps that were big enough to kind of actually glue the walls of the tub together. So we got some really big clamps, the base ones that they had at Home Depot. Um, and we came up with some crazy kind of clamping situations and we're hoping that they will work out. So also the glue that we're using, since it's gonna be a bathtub um, and has to obviously withstand the water. Uh, so we're using uh, type bond uh, three. Here is our first attempt at clamping and gluing. With our second attempt, we have quite the setup here. So we ended up doing three boards at once. This is gonna be like one of the side walls of the tub, so like that you would lean your back against. Well, it's 1, 1 a.m. and we finished gluing everything. So we are definitely done for the night and we will pick this back up tomorrow morning. Yeah. And now what we're gonna do is cut the tongues off of everything here and there. So thought we were pretty close and of course nothing is just super easy. Officially got all the pieces lined up, cut to where they need to be, so now we're gonna sand them down. Now what we're doing is we're uh, gluing these together, uh, gluing these pieces, and then also using the nail gun to nail this into place. Hello, friends and family. Just another project with Bryce and Katie. Mm -hmm. It's basically a disaster. No, it turned out good. We're about to stain this thing. We're using a, a hazelwood stain. Um, and ah. Fred and George are gonna do it for us. Turned out pretty well. It's got like a faded gray look to it. Yeah, it turned out really well. Just the first side of epoxy. Katie, how'd it go? Um, I epoxy my hands. They're really sticky. We use, tried using the blowtorch to get um, some of these bubbles out. And we actually lit it on fire right there. Yeah, this is our first time using epoxy, so I think it could have been worse. This is the second fire we've almost started in the garage as part of this van build. Yeah. The first one was when we tried to light the oven for the first time. That did not go well. Um, and now this. Right? Yeah. It's finished time. <laughs> what? Covering my face. <laughs> it's finished time. <laughs> Stop. Okay. We're a little concerned because we really like the look of our bathtub the way it is right now, but 
we didn't put a finish over it we just stained it and so we really wanted to cover it with something that was waterproof since it's probably gonna get splashed a lot so we picked this crystal clear gloss ferrothane spar urethane which is for exterior use so that's what we're going with we're gonna spray it all over it and hopefully it's waterproof yeah. so that sealant didn't really turn out how we wanted it to I think I got a little bit too close in some of the spots and it actually turned it almost like a runny brown on some spots um, but oh well happens uh, still looks okay but now um, the epoxy is fully cured we've let it cure for like four days so we're gonna go back and fill it time well we stood in it before but we're thinking we need to get a full test water's freezing did you put some ice cubes in here was mm -hmm. okay i feel like i'm doing the polar plunge <laughs> what if it breaks <laughs> you're really disappointed. soak it's a soaking <laughs> Nice, there you go. Now you're fine. <laughs> Easy peasy. Okay, you crushed it. You made a Japanese soaking okay, tub. I'm lean back. All right. Just don't snap the back panel off. Thanks for watching. We're really excited about our new tub. Um, like and subscribe to the video. We really appreciate everyone who's following along on our journey. Uh, we're gonna try and keep our videos a little shorter because we know that it's hard to keep your guys' attention for 20 minutes um <laughs> so we're gonna try to cut down on the video time um and you know put content out there that you guys actually want to see um so those were the do's and don'ts of making a a japanese soaking tub but i think it turned out pretty well just try not to light it on fire like we did yeah